Hi guys, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. You guys had asked me how I packed for my recent trip. I just recently took a two week trip to our lake house and I wanted to show you guys how I packed. Now, just a disclaimer, this is a large tote that I took with me. This is not the ideal way to pack for 10 days. It's quite excessive, but I like to take everything with me. So this isn't a how to pack. This is a more like how I packed. And it would definitely not be ideal for plane travel. We were driving in my truck and I had some extra room. So I brought this along. I love this tote. Um, this was purchased probably about eight years ago. I don't know if it still exists. It's from Fiskars. I absolutely love it. And what I like about it is that it has this telescopic handle and it has wheels on the back. So it's similar to a piece of luggage. You can tilt it and roll it. And I totally love that about this. So I am going to open it up guys and I will show you what's inside. Okay, we're gonna start on this side of the tote. Um, the first thing I bring is my Ultra Clean Hero Arts Stamp Cleaner. This is the only stamp cleaner that I use. I absolutely love it. I love it for both clear stamps and for regular rubber red stamps. This is the best stuff. I won't use any other. And then I also have my undo adhesive remover. This stuff is great, guys. If you don't have it for your planners, you definitely need to get it. It removes stickers. So once you put a sticker down in case you want to remove it and change locations of it, you can do that. Okay, I have a couple of date stamps that I purchased while I was on vacation. Those tuck nicely right in there. I have my VersaFine onyx black stamping pad and yes it has tape on it and that's just to secure it so when i put it in the vehicle it would not open up or make a mess and then here i did not take a lot of washi tape with me i just took some favorite rolls that i thought would work with the two foxies that I had with me on vacation. And I figured there was a Joann's at my location. So just in case I wasn't able to have a washi tape that I wanted, I could have purchased another one. And then I have my We Are Memory Keepers uh, corner punch. I brought that with me as well. So that is one side. I'm gonna rotate it so you can see the next side. Here I have my Tombow stamp runner i love this stamp runner it is so awesome i use it all the time but i also love these as well and if you watch my process videos you would have seen these these are the plus glue tapes i bought them in two different sizes and they slide in there really nicely i have my wink of stella pen with me as well as just a poker tweezer from tim holtz i like to keep that with me in the next pocket, I have my tiny attacher for staples. Really love that. And some wipies for my stamps. I have some mechanical pencils here up top. Then on the right, I have all of my pens that I took with me. So um, most of them wear uh, paper mate flares, medium. And some of my other pens that I use religiously like my Zig Millennium pens. Up here I have two pairs of scissors that I took with me as well. And I have one smash pen with me and the smash pen has a pen on one side and it has the glue stick on the other. And I really love the smash pen so I always have one on me. I'm gonna rotate this again so you can see the next side. Here is my Popo pocket printer. I purchased this on Amazon. And I love it. This is what I use to print all of my pictures with. And down in this pocket, I have the charger and everything that you need for it. I also have a glue stick in here that kind of just randomly fit in here. This is my favorite glue stick. It's from Ranger. It is the collage glue stick. I highly recommend it. Love it for putting down pictures and anything else in your traveler's notebooks. Okay, here I have two pairs of scissors that I brought with me. I brought a Fiskars and a Tim Holtz, and this is the extra long Tim Holtz one, the newer ones. Okay, next I have Gamsol, and this is for my pencils that I will show you later, and it's more of a scrapbooking thing. It's a way of 
uh, spreading around your pencils and I'll have my pencils in here which are my Prismacolors and I use the Gamsol in conjunction with the pencils so I wanted to have a coloring medium with me. I also have this which is my X-Acto knife and I love this. I always have it with me and then I just have two random glue sticks. I picked these up at Target. I've never tried them before. They're from Yobi but I like the triangular shape. It's like my Ranger one and it's really nicely shaped to get into corners when you're gluing. Okay and then the last pocket is in the back and in here I just have an iris container from Michaels and what I have in here is some snap cards that I thought might work Project Life cards, and I have all of my smaller Alpha stickers. I ended up not using any Alpha stickers on this vacation, but I brought them with me just in case, and I really like this case because everything fits really nicely in it, and it slides right here in the back. And as you can see, this is from Fiskars. And if you can see here, there's a ton more little pockets for pens and all kinds of things, and I did not even fill that up. So we're going to turn this back around and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you what's inside. I'm just tuck that in the back. The first thing I have is this container here and I love this container. I found it at Joann's and this holds all my Prima chalk inks which is what I mainly use for stamping in my planner and in my travel notebooks. And here I just have some random things. I have a stamp block. I have my whiteout, some tweezers. I always have tweezers with me. I like to use tweezers when I put down stickers. My adhesive eraser and some date stamps. And they fit nicely down at the bottom. And this is by Art Bin. And again, I got it at Joann's. And what I love about it is it not only holds the 40 piece Prima Chalk Ink uh, set really well. It fits perfectly in this container. I mean, I got so lucky. I wasn't even sure it was going to fit. So I really, really like that. The next thing I have in here is I have all of my ephemera. I didn't know what I wanted to bring, so I just put them in a Ziploc. I have two more iris containers with Project Life cards. I got these iris containers at Michael's. I have this big container here, which has my larger alpha, alpha stickers in it. This container here is really super old and I have no idea where I got it from. I probably got this when I was like 10 years old, so it definitely doesn't exist anymore. I'm pretty sure of it. And I really like it. I just love how slim it is and it's perfect for housing alpha stickers. The next thing I have in here is all of my planner stickers. I use a file folder from the container store. I love this method and all of my stickers are in here and I keep my special ones in the front here and they're by category and I love this because it's very wide down at the bottom so you can sit it on your table and it stays really, really well. Okay, the next thing I have is my Prismacolor pencils, and this is what I was talking about before with the Gamsol. Now, I probably did not need to take this huge, huge bin with me, but I decided that I wanted to have a coloring medium with me just in case, because sometimes I like to use the planner stamps and then color them in. So I took the whole thing and I have some erasers down here. I have some blending stubs that I use with that Gamsol to blend out the colors. I have a sharpener, some more erasers, and all of my pencils. And this is by Prismacolors, and it's the 132 piece set. Love that. And then the rest is in pockets. If you can see, there are pockets in the interior of this. And I'm gonna show you what I have in each pocket. The first pocket here in the back is I have all my Gossamer Blue stamps. Now I get a lot of questions about these stamps. These are the stamps you guys you see me use most often. This is a Project Life subscription kit that I get and I absolutely love it because I think the stamp set that comes in the kit each month is so applicable to planners so I really really love it and these are ones that I used and I'm sorry about that glare guys I'm trying my best here not to get that glare but these are all of them that's in one pocket 
The next pocket, I have all of my planner stamps. These are all from Studio L2E, and they're also from My Favorite Things. There's some waffle flour in here. There's just a ton of stamp stamps for planners. I'm going to rotate this so you can see the other side. These pockets are just awesome. They're three thin pockets, and what's cool about them is they fit the Sweet Stamp Shop stamp sets really perfectly. And I love that. So these are some of more of my planner stamps. And they go in these three pockets here. And I just kind of split them up. And again, like I said, these pockets are perfect size for these stamps. I was just like so thrilled when I seen that. And here are the other ones. Really cute. We're going to rotate it one more time. I have more in this pocket here. So I have some of my more favorite stamp sets that I use most often, and this is Studio L2E, the Rated set. I love that, and the Travel Observations. I also have three stamp sets from Scraptastic, which is another Project Life uh, subscription monthly kit that I thought would go really well. And then I'm going to rotate it again. These three pockets here on this side I left empty. Here in this smaller pocket, I just have some smaller, here we go. I have some smaller stamps that I keep separate because they're so little, I don't want them to get lost in the mix with the rest. And that is everything that is inside of my bin, guys. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna put this all together so you guys can see me pack it. And that's it guys, everything is packed up and ready to go. I can pack this in my car to go. And thank you so much for watching this. If you have questions on any of the products or anything that you saw in this video, just leave me a comment below and I will get back to you. And again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, this is not the most ideal way to pack for a 10 day trip because it's a large amount of stuff. And I had a lot of empty pockets that I didn't utilize. But for me, this is what works, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye.